this is our Bridgeport runner machine. It's got a variable speed head, a 48 inch table, and we've fitted a four axis DRO system to it. In addition to that, we've added X, Y, and Z power feeds. Our machine's been fully stripped down, serviced. It's had a regrind to the X, Y, and Z axes, all new lead screws and nuts throughout the whole machine, all new bearings, belts, match super precision uh, bearings in the in the quill in the spindle there uh, so it's had everything it's like it's a, like a brand new machine fully rebuilt okay so we're going to go through show you all running now and obviously when you're happy with the video please come down and see it for yourself in real life it's lovely and smooth all the way across absolutely beautiful when we're regrinding all the gibbs get tear sighted and scraped back in and absolutely amazing same with the y-axis, lovely and smooth all the way across. Uh, there's all locks here, so the knee lock, the y lock and the x lock all serviced, all working great. Uh, and now I'll show you the power feeds all running all together. You see they just run absolutely beautifully all together. You wouldn't normally have them like that, it's just purely for demonstration purposes. And they're all variable speed as well, so you've got variable speed, and you've got rapid override, press the, red, the green one, and the rapid override for you. A lovely system, obviously, uh, real energy saver, uh, <laughs> for the, especially for the knee power feed, that's, that's great. Uh, it gets a bit heavy, the knee, after a while, winding up all day long. Okay, so moving on, uh, we're going to test the variable speed head and the quill now. Okay, so we're currently set at about 1100 RPM, we're in high range, and we're going to fire up. Yeah, that runs absolutely lovely and smooth. That's 500 RPM. And then all the way up to 3000. Slightly more sensible 2000. <coughs> and back down to 1000. In reverse now. It's just as quiet in reverse. <coughs> up to 3000. down to a thousand and then to 500 okay back to a thousand I'm going to change now from high range to low range before I do that I'm just going to move this handle out of the way it's a quick release handle so if you move it like that you can position it wherever you like okay so move that out of the way then I depress this handle on the right turn and lock it into the low range just occasionally you have to turn the spindle just to get the dogs locked so just watch out for that okay fire it up and now we're at 120 rpm because we're in low range that's 260 in low back down to 60 and about 130. I'll reverse the spindle now, just as quiet in reverse, back down to 60, to middle of the road 130 rpm okay so test the uh, spindle now uh, test the uh, quill sorry uh, we're going to go back to high range before i do that i'm going to go to the neutral position which is just here on the uh, on the lever so now we can freewheel the spindle if we were clocking any pcds or whatever we happen to be needing to do okay back to high make sure it's locked in and get the spindle up to about 1300 rpm. Make 
make sure your lock's off before you, the quill lock, uh, make sure the lock's off before you engage the feed. When we engage the feed, you see the handle's feeding down there. So that's the highest feed rate for every spindle speed, you have three different feed rates. That's the slowest, and that's the medium. They're all working great. So I'm going to let it come down and uh, turn itself off of its own accord. So you can see that it does that. There we go, works great. And now I'm going to uh, reverse the feed, the spindle's still going the same way, I'm just going to re reverse, reverse the feed for you. And that's by pulling this lever out, engage the feed again and you see it's feeding up, which is correct. I'll just let it feed for a minute just so you can see it all, it's all working great. And actually this screw here, this is all brand new as well, it's got a quick change nut under here as well, that's all great. Okay, so that's working fine. I'll turn the spindle off now, and I'll just show you. There's a quill lock here. You can lock this in any position when you're doing some milling, and that locks the quill nice and solid for you. But again, you can still position the handle wherever you want it to be, but the quill stays in the same position. Okay, so uh, as well as the DRO, we've also fitted a, a, an LED. That's an LED light, and it's IP65 sealed as well. It's a really nice light. Gives you lots of air. Uh, be able to see the job beautifully even on the darkest of nights. Uh, there's also a guard here, so this will turn the machine off if you open it. Brings on an e-stop condition and all the power feeds have gone off now. The spindle would turn off if it was on. Uh, to reinitialize it you need to close the guard again and press the green button at the bottom and then it's back on. Power feeds are back on. Okay so Demo over, beautiful machine, please come down and see it for yourself in real life, and many thanks for watching.